Hey everyone and welcome back to Building Tips. If you haven't seen the previous episode yet, I highly recommend you do so right now. Done it already? Cool. Then let's start. Now that we know where to look and what we're looking for, there's the problem of translating these real life things into Minecraft. This video will go over a few methods to get that done. To have an example of what we're moving into Minecraft, I've chosen this nice facade on the front of the Church of Jesu in Rome. I'll be going step by step on how to transfer it into Minecraft. The first and one of the most important things that's good to do is to segment what you'll be building into specific parts. I've done this relatively generally here, highlighting the basic shapes. You can do this in a graphics program or in your head, but it's good to split what you'll be building into sections. Once we have these sections, we can rebuild it to a certain point in Minecraft. For simplicity, I have left out the two yellow sections for now and have just built the two rectangles and the triangular roof out of quartz. It's generally good to start with the most basic shapes when copying something from Minecraft or real life. Even if whatever you're building doesn't have a lot of depth, it's best to add some anyways, as it almost always makes your builds look better. In fact, this is a good rule of thumb in almost all areas. If something you're getting inspiration from has certain aspects that don't look good in game, get rid of them. Whether it be a lack of depth, a bad color scheme or something else, it's always better for it to look better than accurate. One of the most difficult parts of moving something into Minecraft is getting the details right. This especially goes for details that involve curves or other intricacies that are difficult to reproduce in Minecraft. To get these right, it can become necessary to open up a graphics program, whether it be Paint or Photoshop. The best tool to use is the pencil tool to get sharp edges. In this picture, each little segment represents a quarter of a block, with black areas being full and red areas being either slabs or stairs. By tracing the details and what you're looking for, it's much easier to get an accurate representation in Minecraft. For increased accuracy, you can make the brush smaller, and for less accuracy, you can make the brush bigger. By following the picture and adding in some more details, this is the final product of the Church of Jesu. Now that we know all of these steps, we can work on coming up with a completely original building from multiple sources of inspiration. To finish off this guide, we'll combine two separate sources, the facade we just built and the natural color scheme at the bottom of the image. With this structure, I've just built the same structure with a new color scheme. This ends up not looking that good as the point of the color scheme and the point of the facade were completely different. The facade was meant to be complicated and impressive, given its large size and complexity. The foresty color scheme, on the other hand, is meant to be more natural and unassuming. Therefore, we have to make a few changes to get the color scheme to match with the structure. To accomplish this, I cut off the top part of the structure and replaced it with a simple roof. This allowed for the entire structure to appear much less tall and intimidating. I also added a few more details that came with the materials, most notably the ability to use fences. In the end, the combination of the two different sources ends up making an entirely new thing and actually ends up looking pretty good. And that brings us to a close for chapter 4. Hopefully you learned a lot about where and how to get inspiration for your builds, and maybe even inspired you in itself. Go to nickblocko.weebly.com for an entire overview of this series, leave a like if you liked this video, and go to youtube.com slash nicholasblocko and subscribe. Of course, all the links are in the description as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, take care, and goodbye.